Hello, I'm the artist Michael Arzotos, and today is August 29th, 2023. What I want to talk about right now is um, the, 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 the two extraordinary different types of personas that, that go into the acting field, the performing field, the public field, okay? Uh, and I, I believe anybody is a candidate for these things if it's what they want to do. But I personally have noticed two very distant, different, and almost like opposing um, uh, ways, pathways, so to speak. Okay, on the one hand, you have the person who's basically lived a, 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 a well-rounded life. Um, it's kind of like what you call pampered. They've lived in the same house or the same location through most of their, their upbringing. Okay, they know the same people all their lives, and, and they're well-liked, well-adjusted. That's the term I've been looking for in my head on that. Okay, and, and, and that's just what happens. So then, as they're going through the school system and into high school, okay, they, they have the things that a person would want and, and, and the persona a person would want, and, and everybody around them likes them, and... Um, and, and, and then they become like a candidate to be popular, and it extends from there. Now, I have a cousin who was a, um, his father had a local business, and a good business, and, and the, 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 the cousin of mine, okay, had pretty much everything at his fingertips. He lived in the same house all of his life. He was very well adjusted. Everyone who came to his house were friends of his. The, he had a, his own tennis court in the backyard, okay, and... Um, when he got into the high school, he wound up being like the main star of the uh, school play. Why? Because all the popular people liked him and knew him, and, and he was like famous already. Okay, and that's a pathway. Now after school, he did continue a little bit of acting, and then he went into the fashion business industry, and he did quite well for himself. Okay, um, now on the other hand, okay, in my instance, I was a whole different persona because my family moved a lot growing up. I didn't live in the same house in consecutive years for more than more than really three years until I was out of high school. All right, and um, we moved every few years and also regionally. Okay, I, I was in, in Rhinebeck, New York, and at eight years old we moved to the Catskill Mountains, a place called Blue Mountain which was really very, very rural, okay? Rhinebeck is a village. It's a sweet, nice village. My father had an upholstery shop there. He knew all the political people, the school teachers, the principal, okay? When we got to Saugerties at eight years old, it was a whole different story, okay? And I really liked it because it was so rural. And um, then we moved to uh, Patch Oak, Long Island in the middle of my fourth grade for six months, and then back to the big country farm of state, but this is a regional moves, you lose all your friends, and as far as you know, it's permanent, okay, it's quite an adjustment, and when in the middle of fourth grade, I had to move to Patchogue, Long Island, for six months, but I didn't know it would be six months, and it, it, it's, it's, I was like, I was like a fish out of water, okay, living there, but then we moved back to the farm, upstate, and I felt like I was home, it was great, okay, which is, is another um, adjustment, Okay, everything that I saw, I really tried to, to, to like bring into my thinking, to, to reacclimate. okay? And then we moved back to Long Island in the middle of my seventh grade, okay? And that was atrocious to me, okay? But uh, we only lived there a year, middle of seventh to the middle of eighth, and then we moved to Massillon, Ohio. Why, I do not know. It's the Bible Belt. It's regionally much different, okay? Uh, and it's nice, okay, I really liked it there. And I lived there for half of eighth and all of ninth grade. And then we moved back to Long Island for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade for my, my high school. And um, that was a tremendous adjustment uh, to come from the Bible Belt to, to Long Island, okay. And um, so what, what happens is you become like a chameleon. And I always realized that about myself. Well, then one day, I don't know, some years out of high school, I'm watching Larry King live on television. And for those who don't know who Larry King was or is or whatever, he did interviews of, of celebrities, news reporters, 
he he was seemed to be the one who could get anybody on the set if he wanted to. And he was interviewing somebody and talking, and he said, um, for however it came up, I don't recall, but he said, of all the greatest actors and actresses that he's interviewed, the greatest ones were those who had moved a lot, like 10 times while they were growing up. And he mentioned, I specifically remember Tom Hanks and Demi Moore, and then there were others. And I don't um, know personally if these people did move a lot growing up, but, but thereafter, I kind of kept an eye out when I'd see celebrities and, and I'd hear where they moved a lot because it resonated with me. It resonated with me in the fact that I know I moved a lot, okay, and these were now famous people. And even historically, there were quite a few famous people who did move a lot, okay. Now, since that time, I have uh, looked on the computer here and there, now and then, and uh, I noticed more celebrities who had moved a lot growing up, okay. Tom Cruise, uh, I wrote it down here, had 15 schools in 14 years, okay. That's a lot. That's more than me. Right. Kiefer Sutherland had three middle schools and five high schools, okay? When you do that, when you're in that situation, you feel a bit alone here and there, but the, these people uh, did that. Cuba Gooding Jr. had four high schools, and um, Eddie Murphy, uh, I always knew, was from Hicksville, which is Nassau County, Long Island, which is the next county in towards New York City from me. I'm in Suffolk County. Maybe a 40-minute ride from me, and I had understood that he had a few, a few uh, moves in his life. Okay, um, but the fact of the matter is that that this moving creates a whole different type of a persona. In other words, it's like an automatic ability to perform. Not always, not for everybody, but for a lot of us, that that's what happens. Now I will point out that it takes a while to to, to in your life lifetimes to, to recognize the real effects, what really happened, because when you move and you're young and you're a child, you lose your friends, you have to make new friends, sometimes you're not so accepted, sometimes you are, uh, you move to one place and you're very much accepted, I was very accepted in Ohio, and when I moved to Patro, it was a whole different ball game, um, I had cousins in the school system, and they were jealous, okay, um, you know, these are issues. But the fact of the matter is that the moving, you know, I can blend in any place. You know, when I first started doing the telephone sales, the business-to-business -business telephone sales, I'd get on the phone with, with they, they would hire young people. They would hire, um, you know, business people who had lost their business, whatever it was. And um, you could see some people were able, some people had experience at it, some people didn't. But you could see that some people were just able to adjust to it very quickly. I was really uh, enjoying it. I, I really, you know, was able to play the part very quickly. And I, I knew then and there it was from the moving, okay? You're on the phone talking to people in business, okay? Significant business businesses. And you're talking to the presidents and vice presidents of these companies one after the next, next all day. and. Um, the, you know, a lot of the younger guys, like I was, couldn't really function in that uh, capacity, and I could. And, and, and I was always able to go out there and just do business, just do business deals. Uh, my artwork, in, in some sense, there's performance involved, okay? And I just, it, it's just automatic to me because of the movement.